Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So it has been a minute since I've used Wet n Wild and so I've purchased several Wet n Wild products. I've got a couple different eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be trying out. I've seen a couple other ladies use them and I was just curious to see how they perform. And I thought this Wet n Wild Fire Dragon and Ice Dragon just looked too good to pass up. Mostly because I liked all the colors that I have on today, but I was equally as intrigued with the blues or the icy blues. So today I have used basically everything here. I totally forgot about the bronzers and had already bronzed, so I didn't use the bronzers. Can't give you an update on that, but I will give you an update on the first half of this. I used their eye quad here. I did use both of these lipsticks. I'll explain that in a moment. And then I used both these power pigments. So, wow, what a fun collection. This, whoever put these this color scheme together, just, you are, are a brilliant genius. Love you mean it. So I did my eye using these. Most of these needed to be built up. So I think the, the colors were true to what was in the pan for the most part, but you did still have to build them up to get them to the color you wanted. Then I used this color on my lip and it was a, you'll see in the video, it's really, really burgundy. So at the last moment I thought, well, I'll play and I wanted to put a little bit of the gold on there to tone it down. Plus I wanted to see what it looked like on top of each other, which is the power pigments over this red here. For my eyeliner, I went ahead and used this copper color because I thought this copper color was just absolutely stunning. So I used the copper color on the lower lash line and the upper lash line, and it went on so good as an eyeliner. I kind of want to see if they have a black lipstick or a dark, dark brown lipstick because that may be my new eyeliners from now on. Totally, totally loved it. So we're going to see, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how the eyeliner does throughout the day or the, the lipstick does as the eyeliner throughout the day because literally if it holds, I'm going to look for darker colors to see, I don't know, I may have a new eyeliner trend. But these colors, you will see me pop them on top of these and wow. So the power pigments really are powerful pigments. But they're so easy to use. I did wet my brush and kind of patted them in place and you can see from the right eye to the left eye how much of a punch of color that they're using. And with New Year's coming, and this video will be up after New Year's, I just love these golds for, for popping New Year's fun. I totally loved this palette or this half so far. So if I'm going to give a review on half the palette or half half this selection, I would definitely, if you like dark lips, I, these dry down really good. So I would recommend the Liquid Catsuit. If you love these cranberry pink, gold, and kind of a uh, pretty transition color, you definitely want these. But you for sure have to try these Power Pigments. I call them power pigments, color icon loose pigments. They're just powerful. They need to be named power pigments. So totally, totally up for that. They didn't, the downside or the weird side is they had two highlighters for the blue side. This has a blue shift in it. I would have rather have seen one that worked better. Maybe, maybe a peachy color with some gold speckles. I don't know. But there wasn't, to me, this highlighter doesn't match the eye look. I did put a little bit on, and it just is making my skin look like I'm sick because it's picking up a blue hue when everything else on my face is reds and gold. So I'm going to have to take off that highlighter and fix it because it's not looking right. But I will say they needed, they needed a highlighter to go with this, and they gave two different bronzers, so that's pretty cool. All right, that's my thought on part one of this two-part series of Wet n Wild Fire Dragon versus Ice Dragon. So tell me what you think about Fire Dragon. Hmm, do you like Fire Dragon? I actually think it's a fun eye look. And 
I just really like the cranberries and gold together. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. All right, y'all. Well, I will see you in part two. If you want to see the tutorial on how I played with these eye colors and how they look different with the pigments on top, you're in the right spot. Here so we go. So today I'm going to try the Wet n Wild Fire Dragon versus Ice Dragon. And I'm going to start out with the Fire Dragon. Look at these beautiful colors. I mean, oh my goodness. So I just, I needed to play with these. This comes with uh, two bronzers, two highlighting powders. It comes with four pigments, two eyeshadow collections, and four liquid lips. So yeah, I'm kind of pumped about it. Like, I already don't know, do I want to go red? Do I want to go copper? I'm just going to go in with the red for the lip. And this is actually more of a burgundy color than what I thought it would be on the outside. And I don't see colors is for the transition. I can't even tell you the last time I used Wet n Wild. This color here is for the brow bone. It's kind of a pinky color. I really like the color combinations they've done with this. So I'm hoping that the eye kind of comes out okay. This gold color here is for the eyelid. To get the color that I want, I am having to build it up, but I think that the color combination so far is very pretty. So now we're going to go in with the crease. I'm really interested in this one to see how this does. So far, I'm pleasantly surprised. The colors may needed to be built up a little bit, but overall, the color scheme they put together is super pretty. Really, really pretty. I am actually going to use Queen's Blood for eyeliner. We're going to see how this goes. This could be a total flop. We'll say using a liquid lip is easier than I had thought and actually kind of makes me want to find a black lipstick to that <clears throat> dries down good because that went on super easy super easy so i like how that gives kind of a reddish brown and i did the eyeliner that way on the lower lash line using it so now i think i'm going to pick back up the burgundy that i used on the outer corner and we're going to go right over the top of that lipstick and this cranberry color Holy mackerel. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's work on some lashes, baby. Okay, so this does have these two pigments in it, and I haven't used either of them. I'm going to use some setting spray to wet my brush. So as you can tell, the Gilded Crown really makes a pop. This yellow is, or gold, is fantastic, but Definitely wetting the brush using these pigments has picked up an amazing gold color. Look at the pop of color difference. These power pigments are pretty awesome. I think I want to try one more thing. Picking up the gold to kind of tone down that lip. Ooh, mommy likes. Other than eyebrows and keeping my eyelashes kind of my own instead of false ones, which is so hard because I just really get into wearing false ones and then it's hard to go back to my regular lashes. I just feel so cheated. But anyways, I, I am impressed. I'm most impressed so far with these um, color icon pigments. I, I'm really curious to see what other colors they have because, man, you put those pigments on and... No, I can't whistle. But, holy crud, these little power pigments pack a punch. So, if you've used this, I'd really like to know kind of what your thoughts are on this collection. So far, this has been fun. I love, love, love the color combination. It is just fun, fun, fun. So, put your comments and thoughts below because I'm really curious to hear from you. All right. So, tomorrow, I'm going to do the blues. 
I'll be singing the blues with the icy dragon. But I like the fire dragon. The fire dragon, I'm digging. I am digging this fire dragon. All right, y'all. We'll talk soon. Hope you like this video.